I am at Cupcake Fest with Val Emick, and Dog's here today. Yeah, I love dogs. That's why I'm here. But you asked me. But the second reason is um, I love dogs. You have a rescue. What made you want to adopt a dog? Um, I always wanted a dog, and I, and we just. I was actually visiting my sister in Houston, and she had rescued a dog, and we went to the pound there, and. I was like, oh my God, I was ready to fly a, a dog home on the plane. And then we we're like, there's plenty of dogs in New Jersey. So we came back and as soon as we saw this dog, we we're just like, we'll take her. And like, it's been hard, but very rewarding at the same time. Do you know what her story is and how come she wound up in a shelter? She came from St. Croix. She was owned by a man who neglected her and who was an older man, we don't think she was socialized. She was definitely abused in some way. He went into a nursing home and then they just found the dog, like in the house, uh, malnourished. And she's apparently a mommy. She ha has had kids, but um, we would love to see her as a puppy because she's so cute. But uh, now, yeah, that's her story. Well, today is also about cupcakes. So, what's your favorite flavor? Uh, probably vanilla. Cake, yellow cake with vanilla icing. Pretty boring, Val. Yeah, I guess so. It's, but it's classic. Oh, I mean, I would take some coconut in there. I love coconut. Yeah. All right, spice some, things up a little. Yeah, maybe a nut or two. Do they do, do nuts on, co on cupcakes? Yes, they do anything at Sweet Avenue. I'll take, <laughs> I'll take some nuts. It sounds very naughty. So you have a new album coming out soon. Yes. yes. It's called Looking for a Feeling You Never Knew You Needed. Let's talk about some of the inspiration behind some of the songs. It's a record about searching. And at the in an essence, all my songs are about that. But this one has more of a sense of place. And um, there's a bit of looking back and nostalgia in it. And looking at the past. And also trying to find your place in the present. So um, inspiration is just... I both personal and friends that I see in family. I like to just kind of summarize a thing and use it for a record if I can. It's not always possible to do that, but it happened with this record organically. Speaking of nostalgia, you've had a pretty successful career. What are some of your favorite memories? Great transition, Joelle. Um, <laughs> favorite memories and just in general? Yeah, of career? like on the road, meeting fans, recording, touring. Recently, last night, in fact, um, the producer, a uh, friend of mine, Jason Cup, who recorded Sunlight Search Party, was in town. He slept over. Uh oh. And uh, so we were watching the Sunlight Search Party DVD, which we hadn't seen since we made it. And it was kind of funny and also awesome. So it was good to. I really have fond memories of making that record and living in a house and recording it live. So. Can you hear me? Excellent. What's going on as Val Emick, the actor? Do we have anything exciting coming up? I'm gonna, I just finished shooting a commercial from, for Macy's that's kind of insane. It's with like Donald Trump, P. Diddy, J. Lo, Martha Stewart, Jessica Simpson. It's like a massive one minute commercial where it involves snow and the Rockettes and Macy's Day balloons and wind and it's like an epic commercial and I'm the main dude. Do you guys really do all film those Macy's commercials together? I always thought they just like cut people in. This one they did. Interesting. But, uh, I can say that uh, Jennifer Lopez was very sweet. Did you very check out her butt? Well, her her dress was she had cleavage basically to her belly button, so I. I focus more on this area. 